Good afternoon and happy holidays. We are inside the Levy Center in Santa Clara for the West Coast Conference meets the Mountain West as the 11-3 Santa Clara Broncos host 10-2 Boise State. I'm Anthony Passarelli. Welcome to Santa Clara Lenardi's Market's pregame show. A pair of hot teams about to score off. Boise State, they've won nine in a row. Santa Clara has won three in a row coming off a nine-point victory over Cal last weekend. And then Santa Clara lost at Boise State last season, so hoping for a little payback. The pregame show continues after this. We'll have the lineups and the keys to the game, plus the tip-off. Santa Clara and Boise State. It's Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Welcome back to the Levy Center. Anthony Passarelli and former Bronco Henry Caruso on the Lenardi's Markets pregame show as the Santa Clara Broncos, with a record of 11-3, host the Boise State Broncos, other Broncos, this time out of the Mountain West Conference. Let's go ahead and take a look at the starters for this one. Delivered by Scott Seafood and Chowder House, serving only the best, most sustainable seafood. And the Boise State Broncos are without their leading scorer. Guard Marcus Shaver. He is out with an undisclosed injury, a fifth-year player who spent two years in the West Coast Conference in Portland, averaging 15 points and seven and a half rebounds, both lead, uh, tops on the team. He is not available due to an undisclosed illness, but this is the starting five that will be sent out. Tyson Dagenhart, the reigning freshman of the year of the Mountain West Conference, 6'7", sophomore from Spokane, averaging 13 points and five rebounds. Najee Smith is a 6'7", 200-pound fifth-year forward averaging eight points and four and a half boards chibuzo abo is a 6'7 junior transfer from texas tech big body 223 averaging 11 points per game jace whiting gets to start a 6'2 freshman guard from burley idaho and then it is max rice leon rice's son the head coach 6'5 200 pound redshirt senior from boise Leon Rice is the head coach, former Gonzaga assistant in his 12th year. For the Broncos, it'll be the same starting five that Herb Sendick has sent out for the previous 14 games. It's Carlos Stewart, Keyshawn Justice, and Brandon Pajimski in the backcourt. Jaden Bediaco and Parker Brown in the front court for Herb Sendick in his seventh year coaching at Santa Clara, his 29th year overall coaching in college basketball. He has won 108 games with the Broncos and 521 wins 
career. Let's take a look at our keys to the game brought to you by University Credit Union. Broncos bank with their brain with University Credit Union. Bring in Henry Caruso. Henry, Boise State, one of the top defensive teams in the country. They allow 57 points per game. My guess is that plays into our keys to the game. Absolutely, and Boise State does a great job defending the three-point line, holding its opponents this year to just 26 from three-point land. Santa Clara has been on fire for, from deep so far this season, especially its last two games, averaging over 11 made threes a game. That's going to be a key, scoring against the stingy Boise State defense. And those are our University Credit Union keys to the game. Boise State, last time out, a win over Oakland, 77-57. Their ninth opponent held to less than 61 points. They've won nine in a row and have really put the hammer down defensively on the opposing team's offense. Their only losses this year, South Dakota State and Charlotte, that was uh, the two of the first three games of the season. For Santa Clara, coming off a win over Cal, last time out by a score of 71-62. That was over the weekend on Sunday where the Broncos got 20 points, seven rebounds, and six assists from their leading scorer, the sophomore transfer from Illinois. Brandon Pajemski. Broncos and Broncos making their way out onto the floor. Santa Clara in their red, Bronco red uniforms. Santa Clara red uniforms with Santa Clara in white above white numbers. Shorts and the tanks trimmed in white. And Boise State comes out of their white uniforms trimmed in blue and orange. Our officials for this one are Mike Cyphers, David Hall, and Scott Brown. Settle in for a Thursday matinee here at the Levy Center in the South Bay. Parker Brown getting ready to jump center with Najee Smith, and Smith tips it into the backcourt where it's held onto there by Jace Whiting. Now into the front court, moving left to right to start this one. Najee Smith into Degenhardt's hands. We saw him last year as Boise State beat the Broncos of Santa Clara at Boise State. There's a right wing jump shot that's missed. Tipped up into the air and grabbed by Abo. Now on the right sideline. There's a drive from Smith. Smith stops, throws back to Abo, but Smith shuffled his feet and that's turnover number one for Boise State. Good job there by the Santa Clara Broncos staying with that possession. Weren't able to corral the rebound early, but Parker Brown matched up well and was able to force a turnover. This is the sixth all-time meeting between these two schools. Santa Clara has won four of five. Their only loss was the last meeting, as we mentioned, last year. Keyshawn Justice suspended, or rather, <laughs> defended by Max Rice. Throws to Pajemski on the left sideline. Abo with a hand in his face. Pajemski looking to penetrate. Stops at the left elbow. Keeps the dribble going. Now in trouble. Leans in. Forces it up with the left hand. Misses. Rebounded by... Uh, Jaden Bediaco and Bediaco missed got his own rebound and then was held and we have a tied ball possession Santa Clara as a quick discussion between two of the officials Cyphers and David Hall on whether or not that was a foul David Hall had it as a foul but overruled so Santa Clara will inbound baseline left with Carlos Stewart and it comes to Parker Brown they double him and that's going to be a plan of Boise State Carlos Stewart wide open on the wing, steps in, fires, knocks it down, count the basket, and Carlos is going to step to the line for a three-point play opportunity as Chibuzo Abo picks up the foul. That is his first, and Santa Clara at the line with a 2-0 lead. We're a minute three into this opening half. Good start for the Broncos of Santa Clara and a good start for Carlos. Getting into the lines, the key ranks third right now in the WCC at free throw shooting with 86%. And he converts, yeah, 43 of 50 coming into the game. Carlos having a standout second year in Santa Clara. This is Max Rice handing off to Whiting. Whiting on the right sideline, now into the corner. They go down low into Dagenhart. Dagenhart, pump fake, he got Pajemski in the air. And Brandon comes down on Dagenhart and commits the foul. The first on Santa Clara. And it was B... Before the shot, even though Dagenhart was pointing, saying, I was in the act of shooting, the officials saying, we appreciate the effort, but this will not be a shooting foul. Smith to Rice. Rice right side. This is Whiting. One dribble. Throws back out between the circles to Rice. Stops at the left elbow. Ten on the timer. Smith out top. Whiting on the right sideline. Smith sets the screen. Now bounce pass down low. Smith in trouble. Cut off on the baseline. A little jump hook is missed. Pajemski gobbles up the rebound for SCU. And with a 3-0 lead, here come the Broncos front court. 
Pajemski pump fake, steps in, fires, and that one spins around and comes off. Dagenhart the rebound. Dagenhart, a big body underneath there. 6'7", 232. Coming off a season. Seven points, two rebounds, 20 minutes a game, but this is expected to be a breakout season for him. And on a drive to the basket, Dagenhart was fouled, and it will be on Parker Brown. I don't... He was in the act of shooting. They're going to give him two shots. So, Henry, we talked before the game started, and why is Boise State so good at defending and keeping teams in the 50s? They have the lineup where defenders can easily switch, which makes it hard on the offense, as there's a lot of times not a lot of mismatches, not a lot of opportunities to attack weak links on the floor. They do a really good job having versatile, dynamic players here at Boise State, and it's worked really, really well for them this season. Dagan Hart makes them both. He led all Boise State players in scoring in this matchup last year, 18 points, six rebounds. Now some pressure here, some trapping as the Broncos make their way. Santa Clara into the front court. Corner three from Key, and in an ear air ball, it slides off the iron where it's picked up by Pajemski, falling out of bounds, throws it to Betiaco. Betiaco wants to go on Smith. Betiaco backing down the smaller defender, and the shot is blocked. That doesn't happen often. An athletic move from Smith. Betiaco was just going to drop that in. So with Santa Clara up 3-2, it is Boise State basketball. Parker Brown defending. There's a layup, and well done by Max Rice. The coach's son has the lay-in, and Boise State has a 4-3 lead. Whether you're watching on the WCC Network or listening on TuneIn Radio, off the glass, a missed three by Parker Brown. Poked away by Smith and into the hands of Max Rice. So the Broncos had an early 3-0 lead. There's a three-point attempt for Max Rice straight on. That one comes up short. Santa Clara has the basketball going back the other way. There's a lob inside. Betiaco tips it to himself. Caught it and then lost his balance and fell over backward. And Santa Clara turns it over for the first time in this game. And we've seen that high-low action a lot this year between Parker and JB. Just unfortunate, JB caught it off balance and fell to the ground. This is the final game before conference play for both of these schools. As Santa Clara will take on USF on the 29th right here at the Levy Center. Abo's three-pointer missed. Dagenhart the rebound. Max Rice now out top. Abo now into the corner to Smith, far side of the floor, one dribble, now it's Max Rice. He'll stop, wait for the defender to fly by, miss the short range shot, tipped out to Abo, he'll fire a three, and it's good. Just too many second chance opportunity, even a third chance opportunity. The battle of the boards is going to be key for both these Broncos. Broncos were out-rebounded by double digits in the last meeting. Pajemski's triple is good. Yeah, he's just so good at that. He almost just lures the defender to sleep, and the minute a hand goes down, he's going to make him pay. 7-6 to six is our score. Pajemski shooting threes coming in at 39%. That pushes him up to 40 on the year. Dagenhart, a blow pass to Parker Brown, who blocks him off the glass, but there was contact on the body down low, and David Hall will get Parker Brown for his second foul, just four minutes and 12 seconds into the opening half. We'll take a break. Broncos of Boise State, seven. Santa Clara, six. It's Bronco basketball from Van Wagner.
Coming off a fourth consecutive winning season and postseason appearance, Santa Clara is stampeding ahead and on the rise. You can be part of the excitement and secure your seats today. Tickets available. Call the ticket office, 408-554-4660, or email broncotickets in scu.edu. Cameron Tong and Jacob Holt are in for Santa Clara. And we have a couple of substitutions for Boise State with Dagan Hart at the line shooting two free throws. Eight to six now, Boise. Boise State, I should say. Three points for Dagan Hart. Kobe Young, a 6'6 redshirt freshman for Pasco, Washington. Coming in off the bench again for head coach Leon Rice. Now some full court pressure here. Also checking in, Lucas Milner, the 6'10 fifth year player from Olathe, Kansas. So it's Young defending Pajemski to the right elbow, looking for a bounce pass down low. It was kicked, but play continues. Usually they'll stop play on a kick ball, but Boise State with the possession, Dagenhart defended by Cameron Tung. They whip it around left side of the floor to Whiting. Now Kobe Young, center of the floor to Dagenhart. Rotating it left side to right side. Now it's Rice down the lane. Rice cut off at the free throw line, wanting to go back door. Whiting wasn't biting. Now it's Milner right of the lane. Throws out top. Now it's Kobe Young in the corner. His three ball is good. Yeah, really good ball movement there by Boise State, working it inside and out. Leading to an open triple. 10 to 6 is our score. Correction 12 to 6 after the two free throws from Dagan Hart. And with 14.57 to go here in the first half. Bronco basketball. Brenton Knapper is checked in. They go low right block. Cameron Tongue wanting to go on Dagan Hart. Throws out top to Knapper. Jab step to the left. Dribble right. Stopped at the right elbow. Eight on the timer. Keyshawn Justice firing from three-point range. And he gets it with four on the timer. Great job by Keyshawn. He knows that the Broncos of Boise State are forcing him to his left hand. He's able to reject the screen, get back to his right hand, and pull up and knock down a three. That's Justice's first three-point attempt of the game. He's now tied Steve Nash for fourth all-time on the Santa Clara Bronco three-point field goal attempt list. Rice driving after a pump fake, a floater, once on the rim, no, tipped to the sideline where it's picked up by the Broncos of Santa Clara's. Brenton Knapper, Pajemski, looking for a screen to be set from Jacob Holt. There's a bounce pass, Holt down the lane, stops, jump hook, fires off the rim, missed, tipped and grabbed by Kobe Young, and Jacob Holt could have grabbed it and gone right at the basket. Instead, I think he allowed the defenders to collect themselves and I think in the end, it was to Jacob Holt's detriment. This is Dagan Hart working left to the lane on the much smaller Brenton Knapper. There's a jump hook, and it's on the rim, and it's tipped all the way out to the sideline where it's run down by Dagan Hart, and all those offensive rebounds right now are killing Santa Clara. They are, and Boise State does a great job. As they've really out-rebounded 11 out of 12 point opponents so far this season. Milner, Whiting, using the Milner screen, Knapper, fighting over that screen, stopping inside. Whiting traveled. He got to his jump stop, and his feet kept moving. And the turnover will give it to Santa Clara with Cozy Akametu checking in for Keyshawn Justice. Brandon Pajimski comes out for Carlos Stewart. So smaller lineup if you're just joining us. Two fouls quickly for Parker Brown, one of the starting front court players for Herb Sendick. Broncos trailing 12 to 9, and we are 645 into this opening half here at the Levy Center. Brenton Knapper dribbling out top. Brenton Knapper's floater with the right hand. It's on the rim. No. Cameron Tongue has the rebound. Can't get the put back. The ball is loose, and here comes Max Rice. Accelerating up the floor, working against Knapper, getting into the paint, forcing up a shot and scoring. Yeah, unfortunate break there for the Broncos. Cameron Tongue with a great offensive rebound just wasn't able to convert. And Boise State comes right back. 14-9, to 9, Boise State. A team picked to finish at the top third in the Mountain West preseason coaches poll. A year after winning the league and winning the automatic bid to the NC2A tournament. Cameron Tung, a three-pointer from the top of the arc. Great energy for Cameron Tung off the bench, stepping up, knocking down that triple. With Parker Brown on the bench in foul trouble. They're going to need a lot from him. And a pass to Rice nearly intercepted in what would have been a breakaway dunk for Carlos Stewart. But it's knocked out of bounds. And Boise State basketball, Dagan Hart and Rice come out. Chabuzo Abo is checked back in. Kobe Young, Najee Smith, 
Milner, and Whiting. That's the lineup for Leon Rice, who spent over 10 years as an assistant to Mark Few at Gonzaga. Whiting stops at the right elbow, throws back beyond the arc to Smith. Baseline drive for Kobe Young, and right to the rack for the lay-in. Kobe Young has five points already. It's 16 to 12, Boise State. Cameron Tongue looking for the handoff. Now a reach in and a foul on Kobe Young. That is his first and the second team foul. That takes us to the automatic media timeout, and it's the under 12, 11.55 remaining here in the first half. And it's Boise State 16, Santa Clara 12, and it's Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Boise State 16, Santa Clara 12 with 11.55 left here in the first half. Lux Bus America is the exclusive transportation provider of Santa Clara Athletics. Lux Bus America covering more ground in more places. Broncos of Santa Clara, the possession. Brandon Pajemski has checked in, back in for Santa Clara, who will inbound in the front court far sideline. Cameron Tongue looking, looking, and in it comes to Pajemski. Pajemski holding inside of 12 minutes. Pajemski backing down, throwing out to Cameron Tongue, fires a three-pointer. It is missed. Brandon Pajemski has the rebound, and we will have a reach-in foul on Milner. So the Broncos got a huge, Santa Clara got a huge break there as Brandon Pajemski missed a shot but got his own rebound. It just seems that Pajemski's always in the right place at the right time. Well, he leads the team in rebounding at over seven per game in scoring at over 18 per game. Carlos Stewart off the baseline, out of bounds. Pajemski on the right sideline, getting to the basket, stopping, jumping, over the front iron, and good. Yeah, he just puts so much pressure on the defense. As a defender, you have to come out, respect his three, and when that happens, he's able to put the ball on the deck and get in the lane and finish. Whiting and Smith playing catch. Kobe Young on the left sideline, puts the ball in the deck. Two point. Boise State lead as Abo fires a three. That one rims out. Holt had it briefly. Ball is loose on the deck. Picked up by Pajimski, who throws to Holt. And that's how you get on the deck for that is Akametu drives, and he traveled as he went right at the teeth of the defense, got into the lane, and then shuffled his feet. Yeah, and the Broncos just, give it back. Sorry there, Anthony. Just one extra step there for Cozy. Santa Clara turning it over. Milner and Young leave. Degenhardt and Rice have checked back in. Santa Clara 5 of 16 shooting. Boise State 5 of 14, but Santa Clara 3 for 5 from 3. They were looking down low for Abo. Instead, it's Smith. Pump fake. Stops at the free throw line. Throws to Degenhardt. Back to Smith. Jab step. Trying to go to the basket on Holt. Has his shot partially blocked by Holt. And here comes Santa Clara the other way. Carlos Stewart had an open look at a three. Instead, throws topside to Holt. 10.38, clock running. Justice will fire a straight on three. Misses off the front iron. Rebounded by Dagenhart with 10.30 to play in the first half at Boise State up two. 
Whiting stops at the free throw line. Will throw right sideline. This is Dagenhart wanting to back Cameron Tung down low. Backs him toward the paint. Tries to step through. Misses the shot. Holt the rebound. Good. Bronco help D on the baseline. Front court, Carlos Stewart. Step back. Three-pointer. Misses. Ball tipped and grabbed by Smith. Flipped up the sideline. Whiting. Now Abo. Front court left side. Ten minutes to play. First half. Santa Clara and Boise State playing their final games before conference play. Back door, Dagan Hart. Dagan Hart fumbled it on the baseline, threw it out top to Whiting. His three is missed, and the Broncos of Santa Clara standing around the offensive rebound. Boise State step in. Abo jumper knocks it down. The way Boise State's been playing, they've shot a lot of threes early, which means long rebounds, and those second-chance points for the Boise State Broncos have been a huge hurt for the Santa Clara Broncos so far today. And Santa Clara missing some open shots, just shooting it at 28%. Pajimski against the bigger Smith, wants an iso behind the back with the dribble. There's the blow by right to the glass, misses the layup too much on it. Back the other way, Abo, Rice looking to go baseline. Santa Clara wanted to travel out top to Smith. He's open for three, sends it through. And Smith knocks down a triple. Boise State leading at 21-14, and we have a timeout. Santa Clara getting a 30, I believe. We'll wait to see what David Hall has to say. No, it's Boise State with a 30-second timeout. And so Santa Clara kept off the scoreboard for the last two and a half minutes. Why has Boise State been able to build this lead, do you think? Second chance points. The Broncos need their guards to come back into the play and rebound. Um, you know, guys like Brenton Knapper, Carlos Stewart usually aren't going to be called on to get in there and scrap for rebounds, but the way that Boise State's been shooting, Knapper, Stewart, other guards coming in need to corral that ball for the Broncos and help out those bigs. Santa Clara, three of seven from three-point land. They were three of four to start the game. So having come up dry on their last three, Parker Brown is not out on the floor. And my guess is he'll probably sit the rest of this first half he already has two fouls and picked them up early. Seven-point Boise State lead with nine minutes to play. Here in the first half is Carlos Stewart crosses midcourt. Pavle Kuzmanovic, the 6'5 junior from Serbia, is in for Leon Rice. Abo defending Pajemski. Now they switch it. De Degenhardt on Brandon, who underhand flips it to Carlos Stewart. Crossover dribble down the lane. Double clutch off the window and two points. And that's a great job there by Carlos Stewart, recognizing he had a bigger defender on him, able to get to his right hand and finish off the glass. 21-16 is our score. Boise State the lead. Carlos Stewart has five. Dagan Hart working on Cameron Tongue to the right elbow. Stops. Post move. Up with the left hand. Well done. And Dagan Hart now has six here in the first half. The lead is back to seven. 23-16. Santa Clara needs to get this game to open up a little bit. Keyshawn Justice back to Carlos Stewart. Catch and shoot. A rainbow three is missed, and Rice has the rebound, but a foul on Jaden Bediaco, who had just checked back in. Bediaco picks up his first foul. That's the fourth team. And Santa Clara will bring on the freshman, Christoph Tilly, the seven-footer, and Cameron Tung goes to the bench. Tung. Eight minutes, three points, and a rebound. And here comes Kuzmanovic into the front court for the Boise State Broncos. And Ganga had just checked in. Sada, the 6'10 freshman from Angola for Leon Rice. Kuzmanovic and Ganga. Down the lane, forces one up with the right hand, missed it badly with four on the timer. Keyshawn Justice for Santa Clara with seven and a half to play here in the first half. And Boise State leading by seven. Keyshawn Justice wide open, fires a three. Got it, but Nganga is still on the ground and holding his right ankle as Keyshawn Justice got the shot. Nganga had fallen down and was not getting up, which left Keyshawn Justice wide open for the three. So the Broncos are, Santa Clara is within four, Boise State 23, Santa Clara 19, 723 left first half. We'll take a break. It's Bronco basketball from Ben Wagner.
Welcome back to the Levy Center in Santa Clara with Boise State leading Santa Clara 23-19. Boise State on a nine-game winning streak. And Santa Clara has won three in a row. Santa Clara looking for the victory at home before opening conference play, West Coast Conference play, against USF on, well, the Thursday next week, one week from today. Kobe Young back on the floor for Boise State. Kuzmanovich working off a Dagenhart screen. Kristoff Tilly, the freshman, now defending. There's a corner triple, and it is good for Kuzmanovich. Just a little step back. And the junior from Serbia knocks it down to make it 26 to 19, Boise State. Keyshawn Justice has Max Rice defending him. There's an underhanded flip beyond the arc to Pajemski. Kobe trying to stay with him. Kobe Young watches as Pajemski knocks down the mid-range jumper. Yeah, really tough shot there by Pajemski. Abel going with his right hand, stepping back, knocking it down. High level of difficulty on that one seven points to lead the santa clara broncos 26 21 is our score daggett trying to back down the seven footer spins baseline cut off by betty Ako. two different santa clara broncos spun the wrong direction and the rebound from brandon pajimski and he is fouled in the backcourt for santa clara and lucas milner the 6 10 fifth year forward Picks up his second, and now we'll see Mo Silla, a 6'10 senior forward from the Ivory Coast, transfer from Detroit Mercy, played last year there. Santa Clara possession, down five. Pajemski takes the handoff from Bediaco, now has the taller Silla on him. Cross court to Tilly, throws back to Pajemski. NBA three, misses front iron. Bediaco is going to be whistled for an over the back here, and that is his second foul. Fifth team foul on Santa Clara. So an open look from three. You see Brandon Pajemski knocked those down virtually half the time. Came up short there. Jacob Holt to the scorer's table. And we'll check in for Bediaco with Boise State leading by five and 6.05 to play first half. Yeah, unfortunate there for Bediaco. Now back-to-back -back games where he's had to deal with some foul trouble. Yeah, didn't play more than 15 minutes. Maybe closer to 20. Last time out against Cal. Rice using the screen gets to the right elbow driving and up under the double clutch lays it in the Broncos had no help defense there he has six points and it's 28 21 Boise State Christoph Tilly off the window high with the left hand a drive and drop for two and Santa Clara back within five you don't see that from too many seven footers putting the ball on the deck crossover and finishing high off the glass with the left well we haven't seen that this year from Christoph as he hasn't had that many minutes. Kuzmanovic defended by the seven-footer now. Kuzmanovic putting it on the deck. Tilly doing well to stay with him. There's a jumper missed over the seven-footer. Here comes Napper up the left sideline for Santa Clara. Jacob Holt looking, finding Keyshawn Justice. There's a handoff. He fires from three, misses, and there's a rebound for Dagenhart. So Santa Clara now four for 11 from three-point land. They're trailing by five inside of five minutes to play as Dagenhart Fires a three and rattles it home. First half action, and it's 31 to 23 on the triple from Dagenhart, giving him nine. And Herb Sendick will call a timeout here for Santa Clara. And clearly he saw something he didn't like, as Dagenhart should not be left open to shoot those shots. Yeah, Jacob Holt just got sucked in the defense a little too much. And Dagenhart, a veteran player, knocked it down. Nine points, four rebounds, and two assists for the former Washington State Player of the Year. At high school, was the two-time Greater Spokane League Player of the Year. From Spokane, Washington, went to Mount Spokane High School. And having a good season so far, 13 and a half points, five rebounds in 33 minutes. Not a great three-point shooter this year. 12 of 47 coming in. That's roughly 25%. But 5 of 10 are the Boise State Broncos from three-point land. The Broncos 4 of 11. Napper, Akametu, Tong, Tilly, and Carlos Stewart on the floor for Santa Clara. 4.45 to play. Clock running first half. Right to left. Broncos moving. Santa Clara moving. Here in this opening half, Brenton Napper dribbling through traffic, gets to the right elbow, 
Now he's stuck. Going to throw it out top to Akametu. Ten on the timer. Carlos Stewart beyond the arc. Dribbles baseline left. Now up underneath. He's in trouble. Throws out to Tilly. Catches. Fires the jumper. Misses. Rebounded Cam Tongue. Pump fake. Has it stripped and grabbed by Max Rice, who was standing out of bounds. So Santa Clara doing well to get the offensive rebound, but still struggling to score. Held at just 23 points so far with 4.20 to play here in the first half. Brenton Knapper looking. Kozi Akimetu looking to go baseline. Up! Oh, lay in with the right hand. That baseline out of bounds. Run to perfection, and Kozi has a bucket. Broncos down six. Santa Clara trailing Boise State 31 25. How about the freshman coming in, making a play? Abo tries to go high off the window. Can't get it to go. Brenton Knapper on the run to midcourt. Waiting for some help here. Akametu puts it on the deck, nearly traveled. This is Tilly topside. Looking to hand off to Carlos Stewart. Instead, it's to Napper. Napper, free throw line. Pull up jumper. Around and in. Both defenders went with Tilly on the screen, freeing up Brenton Napper, and he knocked it down from the foul line. So the Broncos of Santa Clara on a little bit of a run here. They have scored the last two buckets. Down by four with 335 left first half. Silla, one bounce. Whiting. Trying to use the Scylla screen, and he gets it. Looking to go baseline. Up, under, misses. The follow is missed. And Brenton Napper has the rebound for Santa Clara. Akametu up the left sideline. Picked up by Abo. Throws to Cameron Tung. There's the lob inside to Tilly. And it was over his head and out of bounds. Santa Clara turning it over as we reach the under four media timeout. Boise State 31, Santa Clara 27 with 3.14 to play first half. Back to the Levy Center after this break. It's Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Three fourteen remaining first half. Good to have you with us this afternoon for Santa Clara and Boise State from the Levy Center in Santa Clara where it's sunny skies and temperatures in the low 50s, which I think is a little bit warmer than Boise State right now. But the Boise State Broncos have a four-point lead and the basketball as Max Rice on the far left sideline defended by Pajimski puts the ball on the deck, crossover dribble, handoff to Dagenhart. Dagenhart using a screen set by Smith. Back into the hands of Rice. Looking to lob. Instead, it's a cross court to Abo. Rise and fire from three, and he's fouled. Shooting a three right in front of the Santa Clara bench. And Kozi Akimetu commits the cardinal sin of fouling a three-point shooter. Stops the clock at 251, and will send Boise State to the line. Abo shooting three free throws. Abo, 27 of 33 on the year from the line. That's 82% for the right-handed foul shooter. And his first free throw is good. Abo with six. The transfer from Texas Tech, originally from San Diego. In two seasons with the Red Raiders, 45 games off the bench. Not a lot of minutes. Second free throw is good. Abo has seven, and the lead is six, with Justice checking in for Kosi Akimetu. 
Parker Brown has not returned after picking up two early fouls. Jaden Bediaco is on the bench with two fouls as well. And Abba with one more free throw, trying to make it three for three. And he does. He has eight. Abba will come out for Kobe Young. 34-27. Santa Clara has to be careful here over the final 251 that they don't let this deficit balloon to double digits. As Pajimski with the right-handed dribble left side of the floor. Cross court it goes to Carlos Stewart looking to go to work on Whiting. Pull up from the left elbow and he softly knocks it down. Great crossover step back by Carlos Stewart. We've seen him do that so many times this year and He's able to get the Broncos back in this one. 34-29, Santa Clara is trailing Boise State with Max Rice using a Dagenhart screen once. Gets to the left elbow, working on Pajemski, in trouble. Now a right-handed push shot, it's on the rim, missed. Keyshawn Justice the rebound, Pajemski half court, back to Key. Key catch, almost shot the three. Now going to work on Kobe Young, getting in deep. There's a push off the glass and he missed it. Here comes Whiting back the other way for Boise State. Lead to Kobe Young. Kobe Young nearly loses it. Rice to the basket. There's an underhanded flip shot. It's missed. Cameron Tongue wrestles it away from Max Rice. Carlos Stewart accelerating. Carlos Stewart down the lane. Finger roll. Offensive foul. Carlos Stewart ran over Dagenhart, who had established position just beyond the restricted area. And Santa Clara... Has done it a few times here in the first half. They do well defensively to force a missed shot, and then they turn it right back over. That's the fifth turnover. Absolutely, and Carlos Stewart was able to go past the other four Broncos defenders, but Degan Hart was there waiting for him. Kobe Young stops at the right elbow, bounce pass into traffic, and Degan Hart tries to gather it on the baseline while falling out of bounds. A tough pass into traffic. Degan Hart ends up touching it last. Santa Clara possession with a minute 30 remaining here in the first half. Brandon Pajemski, Cameron Tongue, still outside the arc, right side of the floor, it's Keyshawn Justice. Pajemski got a cross court to Cameron Tongue in the left wing corner. 13 on the timer, Cameron Tongue to Carlos Stewart, Whiting defending him, Carlos Stewart turns the corner, down the lane, off the window and he scores it. And that is a mismatch in favor of the much more athletic Carlos Stewart Santa Clara down 34-31 with one minute to play in the half. Absolutely. When Carlos Stewart's able to get to his right hand going downhill, put two points on the board for the Santa Clara Broncos. Rice into Degenhart. Degenhart has his shot blocked by the seven-footer, Tilly. Keyshawn Justice now. Carlos Stewart front court. Carlos in the corner. Pajemski into traffic. Pajemski loses it, and it will go out of bounds. Last touch by Pajemski. Santa Clara with a golden opportunity to tie it or get it to within a point. But they turn it over with 41 point seconds left in the half. And now back to live action as Whiting reaches midcourt with 36, 35, and 25 on the timer. Whiting uses the Degenhardt screen. Whiting looking to size up for the three. Whiting goes right by Carlos Stewart and an underhand flip for the bucket. Yeah, just too easy there. Santa Clara down five, 36-31. And with the possession, Herb Sendick, arms in the air, high up, saying we're going to play for the final shot here with now 10-9. Carlos Stewart out near midcourt at the logo. Wants to use the Cameron Tongue sw screen. Carlos nearly falls down, rises, fires a three. It's good with one second, and that's the horn for the first half. Carlos Stewart creating something out of nothing. A three-pointer to bring Santa Clara within two at halftime, 36-34. How about that one, Anthony? Just when you thought the play was dead and it was about to be a turnover, Carlos Stewart able to save the day, knock it down, and we got a two-point game here heading into halftime. And with that three-pointer, Carlos Stewart leads all scores with 12 points, seven points for Pajimski, nine for Tyson Degenhart for Boise State. When we come back, for those of you watching on the WCC Network, we'll have an interview with Broncos sophomore forward Jacob Holt. Once again, our halftime score here at the Levy Center in Santa Clara. Boise State 36, Santa Clara 34. It's Bronco basketball from Van Wagner.
Welcome to the Bronco Halftime Show. Anthony Passarelli with Bronco sophomore forward Jacob Holt. And Jacob, you and I haven't had a chance to talk this year. We did get a chance to talk last year, early part of the season. But uh, last year was a different kind of year for you. You started the season with an injury and were essentially playing catch-up the entire season. Looking back on that year, what can you take from that experience? I mean, uh, I could see how some would get like unmotivated and stuff. But that year was... It was it was my it was a first year for me. Um, I didn't play. My I had it, my the COVID year was uh, my high school didn't have any uh, competition or nothing. So uh, I went into it not playing after a year, just training. So while it was like a learning year, I also built a great had a great off season. I got my body right, and I've uh, done a lot of stuff to improve. And when I did come back, I made um, so I, I had some good minutes that I later. Uh, use now and look back it was a good experience so i'm glad i played that year well not only did you get your body right but you grew an inch and that's something when i walked into the gym to inch and a half sorry about that when i saw you for the first time i said there's something different about jacob holt but um the way you led into last year and the way you led into this year is it seem like night and day to you yeah it's completely different i remember i watch my old film now and it's now you get a little scared freshman from here to there who's making its way now you got a sophomore who been through it who knows how how to work and the work to put in and all that that takes it needs to be great so learning from Yosef and learning from all these other guys I've picked up good habits and um, I made my a decent impact at the start and will continue to do that what are the, some of the things that you did work on and and that you continue to work on and, and your goals for this year um, some of my goal is just to obviously contribute wherever I can for the team I think that's the biggest thing whether that's rebounding um, scoring just creating actions um, another thing I, I've worked on is my low post, being stronger. I've gained 40 pounds since... Uh, so have I, by the way. So. <laughs> 40 pounds since freshman year. So, you know, I'm just I'm just getting stronger. I want to be that dominant post inside that you need. And also, you can stretch it, play off the wing, move against the bigger guys. So I just want to honestly be able to work, help the team offensively. But then defensively, I want to be a big presence down there. And, and with this group of players, I mean, we have some new faces on the team this year. Um, what do you enjoy about this team? You had a chance to go to Europe in the off season. There was an extensive non-conference trip at the start of the non-conference yeah. schedule. Uh, what, what, what makes you smile about this group? Um, it's a great group of guys. I mean, we all love each other. It's all fun. Everyone's loose. I know my roommate, Cozy, I love him. He's so funny. And um, the two Germans, the two freshman Germans, I, I met them, and we've become great friends. And even me and JB, we've created a better connection. So it's just like I feel like we're so close as a team, and it's honest every day. It's, it's fun. And uh, for anybody who might be seeing this up in BC, anything you want to say to the folks back home? Shout out everyone back home, repping, repping BC strong, and uh, I'll keep doing it for you guys. Go VC. All right, that's Jacob Holt, Bronco sophomore forward on the Halftime Show. We'll be back right after this.
Back inside the Levy Center, it's halftime. Anthony Passarelli and Henry Caruso, the former Bronco, Santa Clara Bronco with you as Boise State leads Santa Clara 36-34 to on the University Credit Union halftime show. And a recap, Henry, is Santa Clara got the first three points of the game on an and one, and that was the only lead they had. Santa Clara getting a lot from... The play of Carlos Stewart, Brandon Pajimski, and Keyshawn Justice. But Boise State, Abo had eight points, Dagenhart with nine. And just generally for Santa Clara, even though they got some help from Cameron Tung off the bench after Parker Brown got into foul trouble, Boise State led the entire first half. Absolutely. And Boise State really dictated most of the tempo for the majority of the first half. And credit to the Santa Clara Broncos for fighting back and Ending that first half strong, and we'll see if we can build on that momentum here heading into half number two. Yeah, Boise State had built an eight-point lead at 31-23. to 23, And then Santa Clara the rest of the way, 11-5. to 5, And getting some help from Carlos Stewart, who knocked down the jumper, the three-pointer, right before the end of the half. And that's the lead for Boise State, 36 to 34. We come back, we'll have first half statistics. Once again, halftime. Boise State 36, Santa Clara 34. It's Santa Clara Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Halftime inside the Levy Center in the South Bay. 36-34, to 34, Boise State leading Santa Clara on the University Credit Union Halftime Show. Our halftime stats brought to you by Lexus of Stevens Creek, the preferred luxury car dealer of the Santa Clara Broncos. We'll take a look at the team numbers first. You can see Santa Clara, for those of you watching on the WCC Network, out shooting Boise State, 42-36%. to 36%. Santa Clara, five three-pointers. Out of 12 attempts, 5 of 10 for Boise State from behind the arc. Boise State, 7 of 7 from the line. Santa Clara with just one free throw, and that was to convert an opening possession three-point play. Santa Clara out-rebounding Boise State 21 to 19, and the turnover 6 for SCU and 3 for BSU. Some of the individual numbers now. First for Boise State, Tyson Dagenhart. Nine points, four rebounds, and two assists in 19 minutes. Eight for Chibuzo Abo. And Abo, the transfer from Texas Tech, 6'7, 223, a big body, but he can shoot a little bit as well. Max Rice with six, five for Kobe Young off the bench, and then three each for Najee Smith and 
Pavle Kuzmanovic for the Broncos of Santa Clara. 12 points for Carlos Stewart, including that end of the first half three. He's the only player in this game to get into double figures. Seven points for Brandon Pajimski to go with a team-high five rebounds. Six for Keyshawn Justice. He has two three-pointers in this game. We'll take our final break, and when we come back, we'll start the second half. Boise State 34, or 36, Santa Clara 34. Second half after this break, Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Just moments away from the start of the second half, Boise State 36, Santa Clara 34. Santa Clara fans, they were voted number one, Pizza Chicago of Santa Clara, proud partner of Santa Clara University Athletics, and has been serving the community since 1991. Visit them today at 1576 Halford Avenue or call 408-CHICAGO to order today. Anthony Passarelli and former Santa Clara Bronco Henry Caruso, key for the Santa Clara Broncos here in the opening five minutes getting off to a good start here in the second half Broncos of Santa Clara were able to finish that first half strong can we build on that momentum here and keep it rolling Whiting takes the inbound from Smith and now crosses into the front court Boise State moving right to left in front of us here in the second half backdoor cut from Max Rice Max Rice misses a layup thought he was fouled Parker Brown back on the floor for Santa Clara has the rebound and now Santa Clara with their first possession of the second half, trailing by two. Drive to the basket. Finger roll missed by Parker Brown. Puts both hands over his ears. He can't believe he missed that shot. Boise State back the other way. With a two-point lead, 30 seconds into this second half, Najee Smith jogging the dribble into the hands of Whiting. Broncos switch it and then switch it back. Abo holding. Now into the hands of Max Rice. Dagenhart. Underhand shuffle, flip pass to Rice, wants a step back three, and then loses the handle, does Rice on a pass, and it's Santa Clara back the other way. Down low, left to the lane. Top side, Parker Brown nearly loses it, finds Keyshawn Justice. Brandon Pajimski with a minute gone by here in the second half. Brandon throwing to Carlos Stewart beyond the arc. Whiting defending. Here comes Carlos with the blow by to the basket. He's pushed by Whiting. And Carlos Stewart is going to go to the line, and that was a mismatch that, Henry, you and I were talking about. At the end of the first half, Whiting was matched up with Carlos Stewart, and Carlos just has a lot more burst than yeah. Whiting does ability to stay in front defensively, and Santa Clara could take advantage like they did there. Definitely. Great point, Anthony. And we've just seen all year, Carlos Stewart, when he's able to get a one-on-one -on -one matchup and really get to his right hand, good things happen here for the Broncos. Carlos Stewart connects on the first chance to tie it just a minute eight into the second half and Carlos connects he has 14 points had an off game for him in terms of scoring just four points in 21 minutes against Cal but 
had a series of six games where he was averaging close to 20 per game. Rice driving baseline, throws off the window, misses. There's Pajemski for the rebound, and here comes Brandon into the front court. Up the left sideline, throws to Carlos Stewart. Three ball is missed, and it's tipped, and the ball is loose on the baseline. Parker Brown throwing it into traffic. Out it comes to Pajemski. Left side, Keyshawn Justice cross court. Wide open, Stewart. You betcha. How about that ball movement from the Broncos? Pajemski had an open three. He passed it up to Justice, who had an open three, who made one more extra pass for a great shot, and Stewart knocked it down. How about 17 for Carlos Stewart? Abo left elbow pull up. That one misses back iron. Here comes Keyshawn Justice for Santa Clara, and the Broncos are 5 0 to start the second half. Drive, float, miss. Thought there might have been a whistle, but no foul. And back the other way comes Boise State's Max Rice. Dagan Hart, who was a big part of that first half for Leon Rice, crossover dribble into the paint, flips it up underhand, misses the shot. Boise State calling for a foul. Carlos Stewart, Boise State missing the shot. Brandon Pajimski driving to the basket, right of the lane, and he's grabbed on the wrist. And yeah, there's a foul on the Boise State Broncos. And let's take a look here. There is a foul. And it is on Boise State's Jace Whiting, I believe. We will take a break and come back as the timeout for Boise State. Santa Clara 39, Boise State 36. It's Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Welcome back. As a supporter of Santa Clara Athletics, a tool shed, Inc. is the equipment rental place you need for all your major projects. No need to buy expensive equipment. Visit atoolshed.com for more. Need it? Rent it. Santa Clara has scored five consecutive points to start the second half. And Brandon Pajimski was just fouled in the act of shooting. He had five in the first half. Correction, seven in the first half. And now Brandon makes the first free throw giving him eight and now nine as he gets them both. Santa Clara 41, Boise State 36. Here at the Levy Center, Milner has checked in. Left side of the floor, Whiting. Now down into the block, Abo backing down. Keyshawn Ju Justice backing down. Wants the right-handed jump hook over the left shoulder. And Abo knocks it down. He has 10 points. Santa Clara up by three. That five-point lead was their largest of the game, and we have a foul away from the ball. It'll be on Milner, and that should be his third. Already the third team foul on Boise State, and we're just two minutes and 50 seconds into the second half. Scott Brown, the official, says something to couple of players as Carlos Stewart will inbound for Santa Clara. They double Parker Brown on the wing. Cross court to a wide open Carlos Stewart. Jumps a pass out to Keyshawn. Right sideline. Pajemski open for three and he gets it. Pajemski on fire here to start off the second half and he's on his way to another double-double here. 
He's already got double digit points, getting close on rebounds too. 44 38, largest lead of the game for Santa Clara. Bounce pass to Abo, wanting to go against Keyshawn Justice. They double him. Right handed jump hook is missed, but poked out to Whiting. Will throw to Rice at a fresh 20. Rice dribble penetration. Right handed push shot is good. He got in deep. He's a crafty player, the coach's son. And Rice, who had six in the first half, has eight. It's a four-point Santa Clara lead with Parker Brown putting it on the deck, and he throws it away. Carlos Stewart was cutting baseline, and Parker threw that on the wing, and Santa Clara turns it over for the seventh time in the game and the first time in the second half. Yeah, just an unfortunate miscommunication there between Stewart and Brown. You figure you're going to get at least two of those a game. Rice on the handoff. High block. It goes to Milner. Down low to Abo. Misses the left-handed runner. And it'll go last touch by Abo. And Leon Rice comes onto the floor and gets right up close to David Hall. He thought, obviously, that that was last touch by Santa Clara. But the official did not agree. We are four minutes and change into the second half. Parker Brown getting in deep. And an offensive foul called on Parker Brown who has picked up his third foul early in the second half. And we will have a timeout on the floor. The under-16 timeout comes at 15.50. Santa Clara has taken the lead early on in the second half. Santa Clara 44, Boise State 40. It's Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Santa Clara is on top here early in the second half, leading Boise State 44-40 with former Bronco Henry Caruso, Anthony Passarelli with you. The final non-conference game of the 2022-2023 schedule with USF in town on the 29th next week to open conference play. Boise State with the basketball, Whiting dribbling left sideline, the pass, it goes to... Rice, entry pass down low into Milner, who has a shot blocked by Betty Ako. And now dribbling into traffic, Brandon Pajimski, as the Broncos of Santa Clara have the possession. Pajimski drives, kicks out, jab step left, rise and fire. Carlos Stewart misses off the back iron. Abo the rebound. Midcourt, this is Rice. Rice keeps the dribble alive, looking to go baseline on Carlos Stewart, who cuts him off. Ball is loose, picked up by Carlos Stewart, and Leon Rice thought he was fouled. And what do we have here? Milner has picked up a holding foul. And the Boise State bench, including 13th year head coach Leon Rice, not happy at all as Milner has just picked up his fourth. And that is the fourth team foul. So Santa Clara leading by four with the ball. And really good defense here from the Broncos. Big block there by Betty Ako. That's number 17 on the year. And he came into this game tied for second in the WCC with blocks. Pajemski. Picked up by Mo Silla. Branded, bouncing down low to Betiaco. There's a jump hook. And Jaden Betiaco over the left shoulder from five feet this year has usually meant good things for SCU. His first basket, the Broncos of Santa Clara, 46, Boise State, 40. Dagenhart throwing to Silla. 
Silla bouncing to Whiting, and he has it knocked away by Carlos Stewart, but out of bounds. Pavle Kuzmanovic set to check in, and Max Rice will come out. Once again, if you're just joining us, the Boise State Broncos, without their leading scorer and rebounder, fifth-year guard Marcus Shaver, Jr., spent two years at Portland. Broncos, Santa Clara Broncos, know him very well. And he is out for an undisclosed injury. This is Whiting. Whiting penetrates. Whiting stopping. Throwing out to Dagenhart. Open for three. And he shoots an air ball. Santa Clara gets a huge break there. And it will go over to SCU with Jacob Holt checking in for Bediaco. Brenton Knapper on for Carlos Stewart with 14-27 remaining second half. And good minutes there from Bediaco. Big block which led to a great conversion on the offensive end. Confidence and rhythm is a funny thing in basketball. Brenton Knapper with Whiting defending him. Here comes Keyshawn Justice around a screen. Catch, fire, and it rolls off. Dagan Hart on the weak side with a rebound. That was everything the Santa Clara wanted to get Keyshawn open, except for getting the shot to go down. He is now two for five from three. Whiting dribbling baseline. Lost the handle on it. The ball is on the sideline, and standing out of bounds is Abo. And Leon Rice looking over to Abo saying, just grab onto it. Don't chase it to the corner because then you put yourself into a precarious position. That turnover is the third of the second half, sixth for the game for Boise State. Now Santa Clara. Can Santa Clara start to get some separation here? Brandon Pajemski with Abo on him. Step back three, high arcing shot, missed. And a good rebound for Silla for Boise State. Santa Clara just can't seem to take that next step. Dagan Hart looking down low. Overplay. Well done by Pajemski on the entry pass. Now it's right of the lane. This is Silla. Holt on his right hip. Silla trying to back Holt down. There's a jump hook with the right hand. It's missed. And Pajemski clears the rebound. Quickly up the right sideline to Keyshawn Justice. Back to Parker Brown. Open three. Yes! Parker Brown stepping up, knocking it down. Broncos extend their lead here to nine. It's the largest lead of the game for Santa Clara. They are three for six here in the second half as Leon Rice gets Smith and Rice to the scorer's table. Pavlovich to Whiting for three. That is missed. Jacob Holt for Santa Clara secures it. And Pajemski accelerating into the front court off the window. Score it. And a timeout for Leon Rice and Boise State as Santa Clara has built a nine-point lead at 51-42 to with 12.37 remaining. And we will take a timeout. What? No, 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 no. We won't. We won't. Keep it with us. It's a 30-second timeout. And it's not 51-42. It's 51 40 as the scoreboard operator gave two points to the wrong side but nevertheless henry 51 40 for santa clara after the broncos had led it 44 to 40 and they're playing strong defense they're knocking down outside shots and that's why they're on a seven to nothing run defense leading to offense broncos of, of santa clara have done a great job this second half holding boise state to four points almost eight minutes through this second half contest and really great to see the Broncos get out in transition, regain the control of the tempo and pace and play in a way that Coach Sendak and his staff want the Santa Clara Broncos to play. Now, granted, last year is last year and this year is this year, but when Santa Clara went to Boise a year ago, Santa Clara got out rebounded by double digits and now they are out rebounding Boise State 31 to 25. Kobe Young is in. He had a decent first half scoring the basketball. Max Rice using a Dagenhart screen. Najee Smith wanting to go back door to Kobe Young. Instead it's top side to Dagenhart. On the switch Holt defending Dagenhart. Dagenhart gets to his left elbow and here comes Brandon Pajemski from the backside to knock it over the baseline and out of bounds with eight on the timer. It's Boise State ball, but that's going to put it in the back of Dagenhart's mind that Santa Clara is sending backside help to try and knock the ball out of the hands. And Pajemski leaves 
And who is in? Kozi Akimetu in for Santa Clara. Out top it comes to Rice. Rice, left-handed dribble, spinning into the paint, stopping. He's in the paint. He floats one up, misses side iron. Brenton Knapper on the run with the long rebound. Here comes Santa Clara. Knapper for three. Got it! How about Brenton Knapper off the bench, knocking it down. Broncos extended to 14. 54-40 Santa Clara. A ninth three-pointer in the game for SCU. Clock rolling at 11.45. Najee Smith looking to go on Holt. Right of the lane, backing in, spin and contact. Jacob Holt was there, remained standing for an extra two seconds with his hands stretched to the roof. But it will be a foul on Jacob Holt, and that will take us to immediate timeout. The under 12 comes at 11.41. Santa Clara on a 10-0 run. Santa Clara 54, Boise State 40. It's Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Santa Clara Athletics committed to providing crucial support and resources during these challenging times. You can help by making a gift to Stampede Together, continue the momentum campaign to support each Bronco student athlete and the program. Visit SantaClaraBroncos.com and click on Donate to help continue the momentum. Smith with a first of two free throws out of the timeout after the foul on Jacob Holt was only the second on Santa Clara in the second half. Najee Smith, fifth-year player. Eight and a half points, four and a half rebounds. Gets one of two. And now we'll see some full court pressure here as he has four points. Kozi Akimetu crossing midcourt, keeping the dribble alive. Now throwing back to Brenton Knapper, and it's a half court trap. Now it's relaxed as Najee Smith standing wide eyed and mouth agape defending Knapper. Parker Brown left side. There's the handoff to Stewart. Carlos three. He got it. The Boise State defender goes under the screen. Carlos Stewart stops on a dime, rises, fires, knocks it down. Carlos Stewart has 20. Broncos of Santa Clara, 57. Boise State, 41. It is a 13 to 1 run. Najee Smith getting in deep. Contact with Holt. Jacob, lucky he didn't get called for a foul as Smith completes the drive to the basket. 57 43, Santa Clara. Now, Boise State really trying to. Santa Clara trying to settle things down a little bit. Parker Brown right of the lane. Has a smaller Max Rice on him. There's a jump hook. Misses. It slides off the back iron. Reached on the weak side by Dagenhart. Here comes Kuzmanovic front court. Pull up three, and that's missed front iron. It comes right down to Jacob Holt, who was the only player underneath the basket. Kozi Akimetu driving. Goes by the defender. Dunks it with two hands. Send it in, Kozi. When he's able to get out in transition and get to the rack, Really dangerous for the Santa Clara team. His defender slipped, and Cozy made Boise State pay. 59-43 Santa Clara, and a bump foul. Jacob Holt trying to body up Najee Smith. Holt's second foul for Santa Clara. That's the third team foul. Whiting and Abo will check in. Kuzmanovic leaves. Brenton Napper goes to the bench for Pajimski, and Smith will come out 
for Leon Rice. How about BK, Brenton Knapper? And 12 minutes of play, five points, four rebounds, two assists, zero turnovers, and really controlling this Bronco offense and defense. Whiting, Abo, working against Pajimski. Abo going baseline, poked away from behind. Parker Brown on the deck. The ball is loose. Top side to Whiting, penetrates, drops it off for Abo. And Parker Brown went for the shot fake, fouls him. And for Parker, that I think is his fourth, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So immediately, Betty Ako and Cam Tung head to the scores table. And Abo to the line where the Boise State Broncos are 8 of 9 for the game. Parker Brown clearly frustrated as Abo's first free throw is in the air and missed off the back iron. Holt comes out having played 13 minutes with four rebounds. And two personal fouls. Less than half of the second half to go. 9.54. Abo second. Missed back iron. Betty Ako secures the rebound. Keeps the ball high up in the air before he could find Brandon Pajimski. Santa Clara up 16. This is their largest lead here in the game. Betty Ako heading off to Akametu. Cozy. Pajimski. Inside. This is Jaden. There's a jump hook. And he misses. That one was right on directionally, but a little flat, and hit the iron. And now an underhand shuffle pass from Rice is intercepted. Santa Clara back the other way. Brandon Pajimski fires a three. That went off the side iron. Cam Tung, the offensive rebound. Cameron stops on the baseline. The ball squirts to the sideline where Carlos Stewart grabs it, but he's grabbed by Whiting. And a nice effort from Carlos Stewart gets a round of applause from the fans here at the Levy Center. Whiting picks up the foul. That is his second. Justice in for Akametu. And even though that was a sloppy sequence, you can see Santa Clara starting to get a sense for what needs to happen against this Boise State team that likes to keep the score down, likes to muck it up inside. Absolutely. Great urgency from the Broncos here this second half. Winning the 50-50 balls, getting deflection, steals, and hustling for these offensive rebounds. Pajemski to the free throw line, between the legs with the dribble. Throws behind him to Keyshawn Justice. Betty Ako on the low block and a reach in from Abo. And Leon Rice not happy. Abo didn't think he did anything wrong. And from our vantage point, it was tough to tell. But that foul is the sixth team foul on Boise State. Carlos Stewart will trigger the inbound baseline right into Betty Ako. Back to Carlos. Carlos pulls it out. Now it's in the corner and... Even though Brandon Pajimski ended up with a left-handed jam, I believe he stepped out of bounds or traveled. Step yeah, out? Stepped out. So the score remains 59-43 Santa Clara. And a lineup for Herb Sendick that is a front court of Cameron Tung and Jaden Bediaco at a back court of Justice Stewart and Pajimski. Widing to Young, Abo left sideline. Degenhardt, who's been quiet here in the second half. Couple of dribbles, looking for Whiting. Instead, throws between the circles to Abo. Underhand flip to Degenhardt, still beyond the arc. Now to Rice, uses the Degenhardt screen into traffic. Throws back to Degenhardt, eight on the timer. And a pass to Rice is through his fingertips and out of bounds. A turnover, number eight here in the game, fifth in the second half. We'll give it back to SCU. Really good defense there by the Broncos. And one adjustment they've made the second half is they're switching on the defensive end with positions one to four. And that's really created a bit of confusion and difficulty for this Boise State Bronco offense. Dagenhardt comes out. The 6'11 redshirt sophomore from Glen Allen, Virginia, Burke Smith, is in. So Dagenhardt goes to the bench. He has nine points all in the first half. And Santa Clara up 16. Clock rolling, 8-13. Carlos Stewart, Keyshawn Justice left sideline. Misses. Cameron Tung has the rebound, and he's fouled. What a job Cam did to seal off the 6-10 Burke. 6-11, excuse me. And it wasn't Burke, but rather Najee Smith who picks up the foul. And Cameron Tung, with that being the seventh foul, is going to go to the line here. And then... A word for Cameron Tongue from referee David Hall. And Cameron apologizing, taps his chest and said to whatever David Hall was saying, my bad, my bad. 
Cameron Tongue getting some good minutes here, providing the Broncos with much needed front court bench production. Yeah, he stepped up in a big way this game and really elevating his performance through offensive rebound and creating extra possessions for this Santa Clara Bronco club. Gets one of two free throws. Keyshawn Justice can't secure the miss. 60 to 43, though, Santa Clara as its largest lead of the game. It's 17. Rice using the Smith screen on the switch. Now it's Cameron Tongue defending the guard. Smith on the switch back pulls Cameron Tongue defensively. The ball is loose as once again Brandon Pajemski helping out the post knocks it away out of bounds. Boise State basketball, but Santa Clara has held Boise State without a point for the last three minutes and 16 seconds. SCU 60, Boise State 43 with 7.48 to play. And we'll be back after this. Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Santa Clara on a 16-3 run. They lead by 17. Whiting will inbound for Boise State on the baseline. Throws out high block to Smith. Rice around his screen. Throws back to Smith. Pump fake. Harding is wide open. Rather, Whiting is wide open on the sideline. Misses the three. And Jacob Holt saves it out of bounds to Cameron Tongue. Quickly into the front court. And it's intercepted. And Abo goes right into the first row of seats as it does go out of bounds. Bronco basketball, shot clock bumped to 30. Kobe Young will check in. He had five of the first half. Marcus Shaver, the team's leading scorer, not available, was second team all Mountain West last year. Fifth year player from Phoenix. A couple of years at Portland in the West Coast Conference, averaging 15 points and a team high seven and a half rebounds, but not available for Leon Rice. He missed the last two games and three of the last four with an undisclosed injury. And no doubt the Broncos, Henry, benefiting from his absence in this one. Absolutely. Shaver's a great player, and he's done it for many years at Portland, at Boise State. So a huge loss for them. But those are things in basketball you just can't control. Have to play through injuries, and every team's going to face that at some point this season. Back to live action. Cameron Tung into Keyshawn Justice. 14 on the timer. There it goes to Holt, wanting to back down Burke, and it's a kick. Burke called for a kick while Leon Rice was questioning Jacob Holt's use of his left arm. Rice thought it was to clear space, but Burke picks up the foul. Burke Smith, I should say. And that is the eighth team foul, so Jacob Holt a one and one opportunity here for Santa Clara. First one in the air. Jacob Holt has his first points of the game, first point of the game. Career high early this year, 12 points against Iona, went four for four from the floor, four for four from the line in a Bronco win in Las Vegas. Jacob Holt makes the second. Santa Clara up 19, 62-43. This is the largest lead of the game. 7-18 and the clock rolling here at the Levy Center. Burke Smith 
Picks up the dribble beyond the arc. Throws between the circles to Najee Smith. Najee holding. Top side to Whiting. This is with Degenhardt on the bench. Whiting into the paint. Down the lane. A reach in and a foul. Carlos Stewart was in the vicinity, and he was the one that was complaining the most, and that usually means that was the offender, and he does pick up his second foul. That's the fifth team foul. Degenhardt quickly to the scores table, and he'll check in for Burke Smith. Not the worst foul for the Santa Clara Broncos. Boise stayed out of lane, and Carlos Stewart upset about the foul, but we're still not in bonus penalty yet. Smith underneath. Smith off the window. Does well over Holt. And Najee Smith unofficially has eight points. 62-45 Santa Clara. Anthony Passarelli, Henry Caruso here at the Levy Center at Thursday matinee before Christmas. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Keyshawn Justice working against Kobe Young. Right side. Finds Holt who pops out beyond the arc. This is Pajemski now. Free throw line picked up by Degenhardt. Keeping the dribble open. Six and a half to play. Pull up three from Brandon Pajimski hits the back iron. Long rebound out at the free throw line to Kobe Young. Abo throws back to Young. Whiting topside into the low left block. Dagenhardt wants to go on hold. Backing him down. One dribble, two dribble. Goes to his left hand off the glass and scores it. Dagenhardt had nine in the first half. That's his first bucket of the second half with 6.07 to play. Broncos of Santa Clara lead by 15. 62-47, and we have a whistle. Jace Whiting has picked up his third foul. And back to the line, Santa Clara with a one-and-one opportunity for Carlos Stewart. The ninth team foul for Boise State. Ninth team foul for Boise State. And Boise State finally cracking double digits on the offensive production here. Broncos of Santa Clara did a great job holding now Boise State for 11 points with almost 14 minutes through the second half. Yeah, 5 of 18 from the floor in the second half. 0 for 4 from 3. Boise State went 5 for 10 from behind the arc of the first half as Cameron Tung goes to the bench. Carlos Stewart connects on the first free throw. He has 21 points. As we said, just 4 points against Cal. Second free throw spins off for Carlos. 63-47 the score with 5.58 to play. Dagenhart the trailer. Boise State with possession. Smith beyond the arc. Dribbles to the center of the floor. Shadowed by Bediako. Left sideline. Dagenhart wanting to back down Pajemski. Wanting to spin baseline. Hops into the paint. Jump hook. Miss front iron. Good defense by Pajemski. And he grabs the rebound. And that is his ninth. The trailer was Brown. Back to Pajemski. Broncos use some clock here. Shot clock at 25 and a half to play. Second half. Pajemski to the left elbow. Pajemski flares out to the sideline. Keyshawn Justice going right underneath. His bounce pass intended for Bediako is stolen. Three on two the other way. Abo underneath. Lost the handle on it. And it should be Santa Clara basketball. As that ball just slipped out of the hands of Abo. And Santa Clara gets a break as Abo had a sure two. 63-47. Cross midcourt, Carlos Stewart drops it off for Bediaco, and it goes through his hands and out of bounds, and a tough one for SCU. Bediaco apologizing to Carlos Stewart, and Herb Sendik clapping his hands and encouraging his guys to get ready for the next play. Unfortunate play there, but the Broncos of Santa Clara have done a great job breaking the press. Instead of being on the retreat, attacking it, they had a three-on-two opportunity there, just weren't able to convert. 21 for Stewart, 14 for Pajemski to go with nine rebounds. Left sideline, cross court, open look for three for Smith. Misses, Dagenhart the rebound. Dagenhart top side, that's a Rice triple in the air. Misses back iron, Pajemski tipping it into the hands of Bediako. That was all Brandon Pajemski. Now at the other end of the floor, Brandon, the Euro step, throws to the corner, the sideline where it's picked up by Carlos Stewart. He's falling out of bounds, saves it to Parker Brown. And now to Keyshawn Justice with four minutes and 31 seconds left in the second half. Ten to shoot for Santa Clara. Crossover dribble, stutter dribble, left elbow pull-up jumper. Misses front iron. Kobe Young, the rebound for Boise State. Neither team shooting particularly well right now, but for the game, Santa Clara has held Boise State 51%. Miss dunk at the other end by Najee Smith. Front court, Keyshawn Justice. Cross court, Pajemski lays it in. 
How about that from the Santa Clara Broncos? Up and down they go, and a great pass from Keyshawn across the court to Pajemski for two. 65-47 Santa Clara. Pajemski 16 and 10 rebounds, a double-double for him. Baseline drive for Whiting. Reverse layup scores it. Nifty move from the freshman from Burley, Idaho. Bronco Bask Santa Clara basketball. We're doing our best to separate our Broncos of this one. Not always smooth. It's not and easy. Santa Clara will work some clock here. Kobe Young defending Brandon Pajimski out near the logo. Bounce pass to Parker Brown. He'll fire a three. And it's an air ball. And it nicks off the hands of Bidiaco and out of bounds. We have a timeout. Our under four and final media timeout comes at 326. Santa Clara 65, Boise State 49. It's Santa Clara Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Santa Clara fans, now's your chance to show your Bronco spirit. University Credit Union exclusively offering a Bronco Rewards credit card with the ability to earn unlimited rewards points. In addition, become a University Credit Union member and get a Broncos debit card. Find out more at ucu.org. Boise State basketball trailing by 16. They led at halftime 36-34, but Santa Clara scored the first seven points of the second half and have not trailed here in the second half, Abo going to the basket, leaning in to Jaden uh, Bediaco, who picks up the foul. Bediaco picks up his third. And that's the sixth team foul on Santa Clara. But more importantly, it stops the clock for Boise State and head coach Leon Rice. And we'll send Abo to the line. 82% foul shooter coming into the game. And he makes the first free throw. Abo. Now with 11 points, he's four for six from the line. And he is one of two Boise State Broncos in double figures. Connects on the second, give him 12. Dagenhart has 11 and nine rebounds. And Santa Clara will inbound in the backcourt with Keyshawn Justice. Keyshawn dribbling out of the double team, finding Brandon Pajemski. Brandon crossing midcourt with 312 left to go in the second half. And Santa Clara up 65 to 41, or correction, 51. Drive to the basket, finger roll attempt on the pass. Carlos Stewart couldn't decide whether he wanted to jam it or lay it in. He did neither, but was fouled. And the foul will be on Kobe Young, stopping the clock with 304 and sending Carlos Stewart to the free throw line for two. Really good patience and a nice two man game between Bediaco and Stewart. Carlos Stewart. 21 points, makes his first to give him 22. Five of six from the line, three three-pointers in this game for the sophomore from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Makes the second, he has 23. Back up to a 16-point lead, 67-51 Santa Clara, inside of three minutes to play. Silla to Abo, right elbow, rises, misses back iron. Secured by Parker Brown, a quick touch from Carlos Stewart. Now here comes Pajemski, flaring out. A sideline triple, missed. Brandon had an open look, decided to take it. He has 16 and 10 rebounds in the game. Rice 
Working the dribble right to left. One-handed pass, and it's intercepted. Carlos Stewart going right to the basket. Lays it in as he beats Abo to the rim. He surprises me every time, Anthony. I know it's coming, but he's still able to glide through the air and finish at the rack. Well, somehow he's able to pick up speed in the air after he's left the floor. Kobe Young throwing to Silla to the right elbow. Lost the handle on it. Chases it down on the sideline. Gives to Rice. Rice, he has a floater. Nicely done from about six feet. Pull up. Max Rice now to double figures with ten. Still, though, a 16-point Santa Clara lead. Keyshawn Justice in the corner will throw to Pajimski. Inside of two minutes to play, and Herb Sendick said, we're going to use some clock here. Rice defending Pajimski, who's holding the ball in his right hand, palming the basketball, and now we'll put it on the deck here. And Max Rice was shaking his head. How is that not a five-second call? Pajemski with seven on the timer. Now six, using the Parker Brown screen. Brown cuts to the basket. Pajemski high off the window on the drive, and he scores it. The creativity, the skill, a master going to the left hand for Pajemski off the glass. 71-53, Santa Clara. 83 seconds remaining, and Santa Clara is going to get a very nice win right before the Christmas holiday as Whiting's three is good from straight on. Jace Whiting has seven. 71-56 is the score. And Santa Clara will use even more clock here as Brandon Pajemski crosses midcourt, met by Max Rice. One minute to play. Santa Clara up 15. And I think the fans inside the Levy Center are allowing themselves to put this in the win column. As Pajemski with eight, now seven, dribbling into traffic, dropping it off. Betiako throws it down to put the cherry on the Sunday here at the Levy Center. 73-56 Santa Clara, and they're going to get a victory over a very good Boise State team. Whiting turning the corner, now pulling it back out, bouncing it into traffic. Somehow got through two Broncos. Santa Clara Broncos, that is, and over the end line, the baseline with 15 to shoot, and it will be Boise State basketball. Betiaco has all four of his points in the second half. On a nice dish. Comes all the way out to Max Rice. Rice to the free throw line. One-handed floater is tipped up and in by a high-flying Kobe Young to give him seven. And now the shot clock is off. Santa Clara is going to dribble this one out. We're inside of 20 seconds to play, and Leon Rice has called off the dogs. And the fans on their feet here looking for Santa Clara to get the W are on their feet and cheering with six. Now five. Brandon Pajemski holding the ball. Two seconds, one. And the horn sounds. Our final score here at the Levy Center, a nice Christmas gift for Santa Clara and Bronco fans. Santa Clara 73, Boise State 58. The Rabbit Office Automation postgame show is upcoming. Don't go away. It's Santa Clara Bronco basketball from Van Wagner. Back inside the Levy Center in Santa Clara, where Santa Clara beats Boise State 73-58.
Last year, it was a Boise State victory in Boise over Santa Clara. And this time, Santa Clara gets the upper hand in the second half, outscoring Boise State 39-22 to after intermission. Anthony Passarelli and former Bronco Henry Caruso on the postgame show, the Rabbit Office Automation postgame show. And Henry, uh, I mean, so many things we could talk about that went well for Santa Clara in the second half. They shot the ball better. They were able to get out off missed shots and open things up a little bit. And uh, just your thoughts generally on, on the second half of this one. Yeah, it clearly was a tale of two halves, but that second half, Broncos came out with fire and passion, starting it off with a 7-0 run and really built on that momentum. We're winning 50-50 balls against Boise State, getting deflections, getting out in transition, and ultimately took control of the game with pace, tempo, and knocking down threes and finishing strong at the rim. Great yeah. win for the Santa Clara Broncos here this afternoon. And you talk about finishing strong at the rim. Santa Clara had a couple of players do that uh, very well. One was Carlos Stewart. Uh, welcome for those of you watching on the WCC Network, Anthony and Henry Caruso. But Carlos Stewart, almost like that game against Cal, just a little bump in the road, a speed bump, if you, if you will, as he came back with 25 points, three three-pointers, and a couple of assists in 33 minutes. He was amazing tonight and really did it in a multitude of ways, scoring in the mid-range, knocking it down from deep, finishing at the rim, and, of course, converting at the foul line, which he's done really well all season. So great to see Carlos continue his momentum, and we're going to need that heading into a big, tough WCC slate. Absolutely, and if you look at the Ken Palm rankings or the net rankings, the NET rankings, you'll know that Boise State up there uh, – with uh, a good start to the season. They came in at 10-2. and two. They had won nine in a row before this one. Missing a key component, Marcus Shaver, their leading scorer, the uh, former transfer from Portland in his fifth year, but out with an undisclosed injury, misses his third consecutive game. We hope that Marcus uh, comes back healthy and can help Boise State as they start Mountain West Conference play uh, right after the holiday. But for Santa Clara, all uh, players who stepped on the floor for Santa Clara contributed in some way. And we'll talk to Herb Sendick a little bit in the postgame show uh, if he comes over and is able to, to talk with us. But a team effort, right? So Cameron Tung was called on with foul trouble for Parker Brown early. He was called on and, and contributed. Kozi Akimetu came on. And you saw, uh, for those of you watching on the WCC Network, saw him contribute with a, a nice slam dunk. Uh, Everybody who got out there did something. It was truly a team effort today, and the right note and right way you want to go into this holiday break. A week off, you never know how things are going to go, but going into that break on a win against a quality opponent in Boise State is the way to do it. And to your point, Anthony, everyone that stepped on this floor made a huge impact, and that's something that the Broncos are going to need moving forward. You saw some of the highlights. Now we can look at some of the numbers, and I will uh, shift my attention over to my courtside monitor here. But uh, looking at the team numbers, uh, Santa Clara outshot Boise State 44 to 34 percent, and it was 32 percent shooting in the second half for the Boise State Broncos. Santa Clara shooting the three-point ball tonight, 10 of 25 for 40 percent. Uh, and Boise State struggled in the second half, just one for seven behind the arc. Boise State did get to the free throw line earlier than Santa Clara did, but the numbers come up virtually the same. 10 of 13 for Boise State, 11 of 13 from Santa Clara. Rebounding, Santa Clara got badly out-rebounded last year at Boise. This time they come out uh, with more, 41 to 35. And turnovers, 11 for Santa Clara, 10 for Boise State. Individually, three players reached double figures for Boise State. Degenhardt, 11. Abo with 12. And Max Rice, the coach's son, one of two on the roster, uh, 10 points. Santa Clara, 25 for Carlos Stewart. Brandon Pajemski, I think it's his fifth double-double of the season, 18 points, 10 rebounds. And uh, that was, sorry, just two into double figures. Then six for Keyshawn Justice at a couple of threes. Five for Brenton Napper off the bench to go with four rebounds. Four for Kosi, four for Cam Tung. Had five boards in 16 minutes as uh, Santa Clara does uh, get the victory. So that's going to do it for us. Uh, if you're uh, interested in the interview, join us on the TuneIn Radio Premium Channel for a uh, coach's interview coming up shortly. But for the rest of you, have a great holiday. Thanks to Robert Quintero upstairs for BAOSN helping us out here on the broadcast. On behalf of my partner, Henry Caruso, this is Anthony Passarelli saying so long. Once again, our final score, Santa Clara 73, Boise State 58. Have a great holiday.